this little cedar tree probably gives the best clue as to how old these houses all are. Cut the rings and count them. Maybe 10 years. Maybe from the 2008 time frame. <clears throat> what do we got? A broken bathtub here? Wow. <laughs> and I think the road goes to a dead end. <clears throat> Probably was uh, connected up up uh, where I started. Because <clears throat> this this is all forest here. You're against a wall. <clears throat> yeah, that's never seen anything like this before such a it's the largest housing project I've seen like well there was a military base that was just a bunch of neighborhoods abandoned but they were used for a while at least see like this wall this concrete wall is broken like it was it was pushed out is there just too much um, too too much landsliding was the earth earth not stable enough around here <clears throat> maybe they didn't survey the ground enough <clears throat> so how was that was pushed forward i think This fell forward, they had a wall of some kind. This looks like an even older project. Goes down into the, the canyon. All right, I climbed down into the ravine to just take a peek. Most of the water is coming from a little spigot. Is that a natural spring or is that uh, hit a man-made pipe the man-made rock formation is here this is purposely put up by contractors but the water starts right there it's got a weird light brown color and it's uh, ejecting quite enough to make a, a creek nothing nothing it's all dried up above all right, let's see if I can plug it up with my my walking stick. What is all that? It's rust, right? Pretty much dislodging a lot of rust. I'm not really feeling any particular hole. It stops. It must be an angle. Why can't? Is it? it maybe it's bigger. Or my my stick is too wide. But yeah, you got all this rust coming just from the ground. I've never seen a spring do that before. I I haven't seen many springs in my life though. All right, on the other side of the ravine from the housing, there's this. No development, but this I think this might be federal or whatever private. And there's a lot of natural springs. There's no real waterfall. It's just wet ground. So water's coming from the top. It's kind of strange. Water's kind of slowly trickling from the top. It spots up here and then flowing from the ground down there. Like it really hasn't rained in quite a few days. There's just enough water that's collected that can spill. Yeah, hundreds and hundreds of cars pass by here and see this by the hour. Maybe some don't suspect it, but I mean, it's pretty curious. All right, that's the direction I gotta go to get to my car, and I'm heading back, so just get one last look at all these. Such nice, nicest houses I've ever 
I've ever seen abandoned like this. I have to wonder if the developer got a celebrity to back this. They got a significant amount of money just to toss into it right away. All right, so I'm thinking with this uh, scale I got, I'm gonna measure out about a pound of food a meal. Try to just focus on having increments of one pound each, taking breaks in between the pounds and seeing how things uh, play out. Looks like uh, they're, they're uh, saying that there's a vaccine with laughter next to the Best Buy. I almost bought another lens mod for the GoPro 9 and it was so, I just realized that I really don't like changing out the lenses so I'm not going to get that. $100. I was about to spend another $100 because I like the lens mod on the 10 but I really don't want to deal with having to take the lens off every time I want to do the live do a live stream with a 9. That's too much of a hassle. Until I can fix that software issue I'll just I'll stick with the the factory lens. I gotta say, I'm seriously considering another phone and carrying two phones around, two cameras around, because I can do it. I played with the one I got, the, the one I found years ago in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. But the battery is so bad on that thing. And I'm looking at the Google Pixel 4A for $350. I'm, I'm a, I don't want a big phone, and that one's that one's kind of like smallish, so it's kind of attractive, and I could it'd be it'd be kind of interesting. I liked I kind of liked how I had two two camera phones in my fanny pack with me. It was a little bulky, but it was kind of nice to have just just in case in, instead of. Like for a scene, if I get harassed by somebody, I can whip out two camera phones and point them in different directions instead of having to flip the this like this around. I could pan back and forth between the, the phones. It takes some editing skills to get right, but uh, it's a little more attractive to do. All right, 40 ounces every time I take a sip. Uh. All right, according to this, I think I gulp. Uh, maybe two or three ounces at a time. I'm gulping down two or three ounces at a time. Something like that. My stomach might have a limit of two pounds each meal. I need to test this more, but I think I got a limit of two pounds each meal. And that's pushing it to the limit. Beyond that is it's the danger zone. So I went through the Yakov's property. It said no, no trespassing. It's a little it's a little uh, unkempt in the overflow parts. There's a sleeping bag and some dishes. There's some weird birds over there. Ducks? Or just tall oh oh there's a carcass oh all right cal condors condors and i'm at a hospital to going to the library from walmart in branson 
condors feasting on a corpse. <laughs> Those aren't crows. I guess that was a pretty steep grade. I climbed down the, the less steep. Jeez. Yeah, there's no way I would climb down this though. That's that is pretty steep. All around they this is a visitor center and they've just they cut themselves into this spot. What in the heck? It looks like this should be a staircase. But I don't see where they come out. They don't come out on the bottom. Here, it goes down further somewhere. Put nicely in the corner. That would be something to ask this visitor center about. What's that weird tunnel about? Um, I still have to cross two bridges to get to the library. All right, I assume I cross here. So. So I have to ride in the center of the this bridge. It's a little unusual. Usually they choose one side or the other or both sides. Rarely the middle. I've been to one other bridge that's been like this for a highway crossing. So you sort of descend down into Bran Branson, and oh my god, it's so busy. This circle is just incredibly busy. They've designated a red route. So that's probably for shows. They have a lot of traffic, traffic to uh, direct during shows during uh, extremely busy days. This isn't even a busy day. Crossing some river. Oh man, this is narrow. Helicopters flying by. Narrow sidewalk. They don't expect a lot of people to walk this. It's a clear river. Train tracks follow the river. That's what we're crossing as train tracks in the river. Oh, there's another bridge. Was that the bridge I needed? I don't know. Somebody might be, be down here. I'm not sure. They definitely left stuff. Correct writing. All right, leave that there. It's a neat scene, a little noisy. So yeah, somebody, yeah, they got milk. Look, it's expiration. Oh, it just expired a couple days ago. So yeah, I guess it's not that noisy when you're underneath. Oh, maybe this is a better trail. Maybe I'll take that. It's a pretty neat scene for homeless here. Not too many homeless though. They don't maybe don't know about it. You know the trail that's paved to go underneath this bridge. It's a little suspicious. It looks like it's patrolled. It's not a walking trail. It looks like people have driven it or something. It's kind of a popular trail. Worn down the way it is, it makes it look like it's kind of popular, but only one person staying. Thrift store over here. 
so they can sleep under the bridge and and uh, take things from the thrift store which they haven't at least this, this uh, camper is reasonable <coughs> I swear I need to always eat on a weight scale so that I could just watch the food, the, the, the weight go down on, in the, the feeding utensil and the bowl and, and be very aware of how much I'm eating. I may, not, I may not have as much awareness as I should for while I eat. I just, I got, there's, there's factors to consider. Like the food rotting, I don't want it to go to waste. But, I mean, if I overeat something that's bad, it's especially bad when I do that. So, I guess I'm on Main Street and I want to take a right on Pacific. They even have a touring bus that drives. Oh, free trolley? There's only one person in there. I might, I might want to look into that. Right, here's a stop not far from the library. Free trolley. Daily, 9 to 6. Yeah. Stop number 12, interesting. I shot the 60 gun when I was in the Air Force. This is probably a, a um, Vietnam era, and then the M16 too. Those, those weapons carried over into the 90s. Yeah, looking around downtown Brandon, Branson a little bit. I don't think the Walmart will be that bad. It seems pretty reasonable. It's not it's not as flashy as the billboards say. All that pizzazz is probably inside buildings. Alright, gonna check out the library. They close at uh, 5, so I got an hour. Just walking down Main Street, going to the uh, river, and then head left off back to Walmart. Very, very busy. Turns into three lanes, but one of the lanes is uh, exclusive for turning left. This is, I guess, how it is all day. There's a Christmas tree at the, I think a T intersection, or, I mean, it is the river, so it has to be a T intersection. I think something looks kind of interesting here. It's very busy down this this walking lane. Looks like they uh, have rides on this balloon that go the length of that wire cage. That's interesting. Very. And then that would overlook the the walking uh, area there, which is it's got hundreds and hundreds of people on right now. There's no way I could bicycle down it. Right, heading back to Walmart, not far now. Gotta say, Yakov Smirnov's uh, little 
I don't know, nightclub or whatever has become a bit of a dumping ground. Because there's, there's uh, all kinds of different things here. People come to dump their, their garbage. I bet there's quite a bit over this edge. Like this couch, for example. Yeah. 